Hello, I'm Andres from Interactive Video Game Museum Level Up. And today I want to talk about piracy on the 16-bit Sega Mega Drive console. So here in the post-Soviet times in Estonia those machines were very popular. There were many different variations, but all of them looked uh, usually uh, close to the second model or uh, third model of Sega uh, Mega Drive. So uh, that's the first difference between 8-bit and 16-bit piracy here in Estonia, in I think in Baltic states and in Russia too, is that if dandies and Subors and all those consoles, they tried to look unique and different, with Sega it was a bit different, they tried to look as high quality as possible. And because of that, of course, their price was much higher and the games were more uh, expensive. So this was like a cool kids console in uh, 90s. Um, I never had one because it was a bit more expensive for me and uh, one of my friends gave it uh, to me to play a bit. So I've seen, yeah, yeah, the quality was much higher, but I was still uh, into my dandy or Famiclone at that moment. Uh, still, now we have many of those in the museum um, and uh, it's quite fascinating to see that uh, uh, people fondly remember the 8-bit uh, piracy here and all those funny, funny uh, covers and uh, hacked games, but uh, everyone almost forgot about the Sega piracy. But it was here and it was quite popular, maybe not as popular, but close to that level. So here is the pirated console, as you can see. It's very close to the original uh, Sega and uh, Magister Drive, so it's not Master uh, System, no, not a ma um, Mega Drive, it's a Magister Drive, so that's the difference. But all in all, you know, it looks, it looks, it looks cool, it looks legit, cartridge input, you know, all that stuff. And uh, on the back you have switches for NTSC, PAL, and then here O and J, maybe Japanese region, I don't know. So you could even switch between regions, come on. This is something. And uh, even have this Varency Void sticker <laughs> by the new game company. Yeah, the new game was, uh, was the king at that point. I remember in my childhood constantly all those uh, Famiclones had this sticker. So that was a, a big company at that point and it looked legit. It worked, it still works. It even has some text in Russian that не более 8 ватт, входное напряжение 10 вольт. So that means that uh, you need adapter for 10 volts. Why not? It's, it's good to know. So it's here and, uh, and the games. So the games usually had uh, pretty okay covers from English market, from Japanese market, Chinese market, uh, just the print was very low quality. And as you can see, you know, like, it's cool, it's okay. So maybe that's why it's not so interesting to talk about them, but uh, like the Sonic and Knuckles, you know, it's the, the image is not original, of course, but at least uh, it looks legit. I cannot say it's really bad. Uh, so yeah, but still, you can find some funny things there. Like this dynamite Duke. Never played that, but uh, the guys look cool, masculine. Uh, it was a tendency at that point to do same image for the back and the front. Uh, because uh, this way you don't have to translate the text, you don't have to do any additional work, just have the same image and on the shelf it will look great and uh, who cares about the uh, the text and the screenshots and everything. If you were really interested in the game, uh, usually on the market they would plug the cartridge into the console and you could try it out right there on the market. Uh, not all the time, but you know, mostly. So um, that's why, you know, same image, fast, easy. Sometimes uh, they would uh, have uh, an image, a side and some screenshots, but no text. Uh, because, again, you don't want to translate that and no one knew English or, of course, Chinese language in, in, in the post-Soviet countries, in Estonia, in Latvia, Lithuania, uh, Belarus. It, it was all the same, uh, same market, mostly. Uh, like those Smurfs. This is just lazy. The image is lazy, the text is lazy, the screenshots are lazy. 
this is lazy. So for me, if I would see this cover as a kid, I would never buy that because even if, uh, you know, the, the hackers and uh, <laughs> those guys who do this illegal um, thing uh, didn't invest any time in this, that means the game is bad. But who knows, maybe the game is good, I don't know. So, this Punisher is quite funny. Look at his mouth. It would be funny if it's uh, original cover and I'm mocking it here, but... Uh, oh my god, this is so... Even some text here. There were some compilations. 500 in one! Woo! In reality, it's, uh, it's five games. It's five games. Uh, there were never more than like seven, eight games it's because of course it was physically not possible uh, due to the mem memory restrictions on the cartridge and uh, ah, beautiful. And you can see one, two, three, four, five and six is ETC. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. So what we have here, Tiny Toon, Flintstones, Sunset Riders, World Cup, Rambo 3 and ETC. Great, look at that design. Okay, now five in one. Okay, this, this is closer to reality. Up there goes gravity. Um, we have here uh, street smart. Be smart on the street. If you're a smart guy, don't go to the street. Be at home, play this game. Play this um, casino game, you small kid. Oh my God. Okay, we have here urban strike, street smart. <laughs> street smart. I'll check it out later, what is that game? Uh, Illusion, Mickey 1, Chase HQ 2, yeah, okay, cool. You wanna play some Squirrel King? Yeah, I like some Squirrel King, the famous Squirrel King, great game. Okay, this is just lazy, I would never, never in my life buy this, because come on, it's grey, you cannot see anything, no text, nothing. Well, at least, you know, there's a barcode. Oh, that's valuable on the market outside. Mm -hmm. So anyway, no idea about the game, but uh, it's a Sequest DSV. Maybe the game is good, but come on, the cover. The cover is just really bad. But you know what's good? This. This is just... It screams. 90s. 90s. Yeah. So what we have here, we have Fire Shark, Thunder Force 3. Insector, Monaco GP1, KO Boxing, Omega Racer, Super Volleyball. Well, mostly sport games. Maybe they just uh, don't take so much space on the cartridge. Because I have um, hundreds of those covers. I can talk here for, for hours, but uh, I know that you don't have so much time in your life to talk about old covers of uh, Mega Drive uh, games. But sometimes, you know, you just need a bit of that... Uh, of that uh, lost time in your life on something really not important. Uh, okay, this Toy Story cover, it's okay. Like, nothing special here. Uh, but this, five in one, look at that. Battletoads, an eye of Michael Jackson. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a great compilation. They, they didn't even write the names of the games. They just put on the side, you know, small, 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 uh, covers of the boxes. Cool design. And with the Aladdin, it just flies into the into the cover. Cool. Now, Top Gear 2, uh, just the, the quality is low, nothing special. Again, Dynamite uh, Duke, I don't know why I have so many of those Dukes, they didn't sell, I think. And uh, Streets of Rage and Golden Axe and all that, uh, green, okay. Uh, this one has a really cool 3D font. That's something. Uh, do you want to play some Time Warner Interactive with two guys um, holding guns um, on the background of the space? You know what's the game inside? I know, I, I remember. It's a Lone Mower Man. Can you tell me by this cover that it's a Lone Mower Man uh, game inside? Mm. Okay. But the Ghostbusters. Yeah, do you remember in the movie that uh, sexy babe with, with big boobs? Yeah, those Ghostbusters. You know, as usual. Okay, and uh, here we have the cover of that uh, Batman Home Alone and the Dune. Uh, 
This one is adequate, at least. Adequate. Even the English is okay. This is 15 in 1. Uh, the maximum I've seen right now was 7. And then that 500, that is really 5. But this one is Sonic, Battletoads, Bare Knuckle, Turbo Outrun, Tetris 2. How they fit all those games here? I, have, I don't have the cartridge, but I would really want to see, is it really possible to fit 15 games? So here we have a Michael Jackson, and, and the cover is from the vinyl, I think, from the album. It's not connected with the game in any way. Well, it looks cool at least. Oh, it's written 256 megs, of course, of course, deluxe, deluxe, four in one. Yeah, I believe them. Um, I like this one. This is a haunting starring Polter Guy. It's not Polter Guy, it's Polter Guy. No idea what, what, what was the game, but um, the cover is tempting. So the asterisk with, the <laughs> with Elmo. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're having so much fun together. Oh my god. So again, Dynamite Dyke. I've so many dykes. We want to play some Busy Town. Yeah, I would be happy to play some Busy Town. It's not Lazy Town, it's a Busy Town here. So, Global Gladiator with the McDonald's. Uh, so if you're going to the McDonald's, you're a gladiator somehow. Uh, yeah, cool. This girl is weird. Okay, this is one of the best covers, I think. So the girl, she's a robot. She's at McDonald's, but it's in the woods, and there is a house, and it's a global gladiator. Zero logic. Love that one. Perfect. So, about Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, Rampage Edition. But if you don't want to play the Rampage Edition, you can play Jurassic Park 2. The Rampage Edition. And if you don't like that one, you can just play Jurassic Park 2. Of course those are different games. Don't think it's the same game. No, no, no. Those are different. Just buy them. And uh, yeah, of course, the Barbie. Look at her. The famous Walt Disney Barbie. Yeah. The Barbie Vacation Adventure. Barbie on the Vacation. Oh, nice game. For full for, for all family, yeah. So this asterisk has a has a cover. It's it's a picture that was uh, taken from the CRT screen. You can see by the blur. So why why do you need to design something if you just can make a picture from the screen? You know, it's great. It's great. This Donkey Kong for Sega Mega Drive looks uh, promising. Donkey Kong 99. 99 reasons to play the game, really. Yeah, I have no idea what's on the on the cartridge, but I think something really, really broken. Bugs Bunny in Double Trouble 3. Uh, okay, this is from Tiny Toon. This is some random stuff. I, I like how they have some serial number here. I don't know, maybe it's the same serial number everywhere, but someone put a serial number there somehow, somewhat. I've, pff, maybe even... Pirates had some kind of, you know, like uh, numbers on their games to not to get lost in this uh, garbage. And uh, high game. Well, hello there, high game. High game. Uh, 1999. Uh, with some uh, word, uh, word art graphics. Beautiful. And uh, for the last one, but not the worst one, or the worst one, I would say. Centurion, just look at that. That is something. There is a guy, he has osteoporosis, I think, with, with his uh, giant sword on the horse, and there is, I think, French Revolution at the top part. I have no idea what's happening there. And here, instead of anything, they just put a map. Uh, maybe someone can tell me. I think it's a map of Europe and a bit of Turkey there. So, that's something. I would buy this game maybe uh, just to understand what's happening, like what's there. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is just, uh, just beautiful. And, uh, well, the cartridges, uh, same stuff here. Usually the glue was very bad, but mostly they were very boring. Uh, just original image, 
with the lower quality. Sometimes there was something special like this Bugs Bunny Double Trouble with uh, ooh, spooky ghost. Why? No one knows. And sometimes you had uh, like a Tasmania that looks almost original. And uh, well, of course, like this Grinch with Simpsons is unique, uh, unique thing. I have no idea why there is a Grinch on Simpsons cartridge, but uh, and uh, this Tom and Jerry, as you can see, the <laughs> the quality of the print is just uh, it's just something. Why? Eh. So yeah, uh, all in all. Uh, it's pretty boring compared to the 8-bit generation where uh, there was just random stuff happening. Uh, still, sometimes you could find uh, uh, Alien 3 with uh, with the Predator uh, Predator on the cover. Uh, sometimes you could find this beautiful Mario and Tanks uh, uh, game that is barely playable. I would say it's not playable at all. And of course, it's written uh, that it's made in. Russia and has a Russian translation because of course you need to translate so many things in a tanks game Yeah, and uh, some of them looked really cool even with the Russian text on the back so At some of those uh, cartridges you could see real effort made by the people and some of them were just bad really bad like the laziest thing was when uh, they cut the image they even don't adjust it, they just cut the image and uh, print it uh, for the small box uh, with the half of the name missing. Like this attack sub or megalo meh. They want to play some megalo meh. So yeah, uh, that's the world of the pirated uh, Sega Mega Drive games. We have a lot of them, maybe we should do something with them in the future. But all in all, it was really close to the original covers and just Occasionally, some uh, artist in China really wanted to show his knowledge, knowledge of the design. So, uh, thank you for your attention. Maybe in the future we will talk more about those beautiful covers and the boxes and all this culture of pirated gaming. But for today, that's all. Uh, don't forget to support us on the Patreon. Goodbye. <laughs>